What's happening? I'm Nick. And I'm Ahmed. And this is Just Fine, the show where we feature a product that earns a recommendation but comes in at an affordable price. Good enough. guys so today on just fine um, we've got a pretty cool piece uh, something I absolutely purchased on a whim um, I read uh, a stereophile uh, review from 2010 um, so now that we're in the uh, new decade a decade ago um, on this musical fidelity piece actually the, the one I read the review about was the uh, the VDAC one so just a really just the VDAC the predecessor to this guy right here um, but you know, when I did a little bit of research on, you know, uh, for what price those could be had, I found that for it was like 10 or 15 bucks more, you could get the VDAC 2, which also did have an excellent recommendation. Yes, um, also a stereophile review as well. Absolutely, yeah, also yeah. a stereophile, uh, I think also, still again, Class A uh, recommended, so. yeah. Yes. Um, which, if you're not familiar with stereophile, um, uh, once a year, or these days, I think once, a, maybe a couple times a year, yeah. um, they'll do a recommended components issue. Um, at that time, it was a little bit different than it is now, um, but they did still have their, you know, like Class A, Class B, Class C recommendations. Everything on the recommended components list from uh, Stereophile, uh, awesome publication, by the way, I would definitely check them out, um, is earning a recommendation, but Class A is reserved for, uh, you know, really just amazing sounding stuff. Yes, um, truly exceptional. Yes, and, and sometimes, you know, I, I think value is a part of that. Um, Definitely. But, but for the most part, um, excellent performance is a barrier to entry to even be mentioned. And so that's why I felt like the Musical Fidelity piece was so attractive, and I was kind of in the market um, for a DAC, so it, it all made sense and lined up. Definitely. Um, and that's this DAC right here, uh, this this particular piece. And uh, it, just looking at it, the, the build quality is actually... It's, nice yeah like i really can't complain as, about as a it. point of reference uh when it was a new piece back in uh, 2010 2011 um it retailed for about 380 bucks yep um and uh it supports up to 192 kilohertz sample rates uh 24 bit depth um so pretty good in today's streaming era actually uh when, when it comes down to it um uh, some of the best streaming services out there like cobuzz for example that's what they max out it is the uh, 192 kilohertz 24 bit um uh, files there so uh th this this would actually be a really great piece um to to use in today's streaming era and and actually we we gave it uh, a pretty good listen uh the other day and um sounded pretty darn good. Yeah, I mean, so you always have to, you know, get a point of reference, whether that's just a track that you know how it sounds on that system. Um, but I think one of the best ways is to A, B, two things that are in the same category. Um, so for for me, for us, um, that was a couple pieces we had on hand. So this is a, a, my Rotel RSP1582. Um, obviously not just a DAC, but does have a, a pretty nice DAC inside. Mm. Um, significantly more expensive piece when it was new uh, about five years ago in 2015 did retail for about 3500 bucks but again it's a home theater processor it's doing a whole bunch of stuff um, that obviously neither of those products are doing mm. um, but we did also uh, have access to your piece there Nick you yes. want to talk about that yeah sure that is the uh, project Prebox S2 digital uh, that was a product that came out in 2017 um, and that actually used a very popular chipset uh, the ESS uh, 9038 uh, DAC chip, uh, which supports pretty much every format under the sun. It'll it'll do up to 768 kilohertz, 32-bit file format, which obviously easily outstrips the musical fidelity, but it is uh, seven, six or seven years newer anyway. Yeah. Um, and uh, the 32-bit depth is pretty amazing. It also supports DSD, uh, direct stream digital files, up to DSD 512, um, which 
at this time, I don't know of any DSD 1024 files, uh, if those are even available, but, and the 512s are hardly available at that, uh, but it will play all those back. I actually tested that, and in particular, uh, this DAC was made for USB performance. It's still great on the digital coax and digital optical inputs, uh, but really with the USB, you, you don't even need an, a, a separate power cable. It just runs off the 5 volts it gets from USB, and it is just a, a really incredible piece, especially for the money. Retails for about $400. Which um, is not it's not high in in today's uh, DAC realm. No, I mean, for a standalone DAC, it's right. uh, pretty cheap. Yeah, and, and considering that you could get a DAC from let's say Esoteric or DCS for a, you know a magnitude of twenty, thirty, fifty thousand um, dollars, and here we're talking about a four hundred dollar piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's, 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 it's pretty a amazing less. the 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 range. Yeah, just 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 touch less. That's but as a point of reference also, uh, for the Musical Fidelity piece, why it felt so attractive to me was, sure, I mean, it retailed for 380 bucks, and even at that time, in 2010, 2011, um, very affordable. However, um, these can be had now for, like, you know, in a little more rough shape for, like, 100 bucks, um, in absolute mint condition for, like, 200 I paid, like, about 130 for this guy. Um, and, and that's really why, as soon as I, I started listening to it, I thought this guy, well, this is a candidate for just fine. I really want to feature this piece because um, they're relatively easy to find. A bunch of online retailers have them available. Um, they are very simple to operate. Um, just a couple digital inputs and one set. Unfortunately, only single ended, same as the project um, outputs. Uh, but uh, that's it. There's there's a little toggle switch there, uh, which you can see right there. Um, uh, but otherwise, you know. It, about as simple as as an audio component will get, mm. um, and you know, at its age, still still works, um, you know, phenomenally well. Um, and so, I mean, let's get down to the brass tacks. What it sound like? Yeah, definitely. So. Um we uh, going back and forth uh, between the musical fidelity and the project. Uh, we we did that comparison most recently, um, and it, there 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 were some definite differences between the two of them. Um, they, they, the project seemed to have much better sense of uh, decay uh, and resonance. Uh, there there were um, on, on certain tracks that had a lot of stuff going on. Uh, you, you could hear a bit more uh, with the project. Um, but what was surprising actually about the musical fidelity it was the bass response. It actually had a good wallop of bass. Uh, where the project, it, not that it was it didn't necessarily feel lean. Yeah, no, it, it didn't. Um, it didn't. But, but the, the musical fidelity. The, the interesting thing was a lot of times when you're listening to two, you know, two different like digital components, and and you're finding that um, you know that there's a big sound difference or a lot more bass, something of that nature. Uh, it's primarily it could be distortion, right? It could be whether you're testing a cable, uh, you know, a DAC it doesn't matter. Um, in this case, it didn't feel like that. It just felt like. Wow, this has more bass response. Yep. My speakers, my subwoofer, they're giving me more oomph, and it, it was still tight. It was still incredibly well, you know, imaged as the, the system does. Yeah, what was um, that track uh, by uh, London Grammar? Was hey it? now, hey now, yeah, yeah. That, I don't remember the uh, the album it's from, uh, yeah, but uh, but well, whatever. Hey now, yeah, from London Grammar. Um, that that showed off uh, two of the major differences uh, between the two pieces, though, uh, because uh, the decay. That the uh, that the project was capable of was uh, it was impressive. <laughs> yes. It made me um, uh, feel a little bit bad about about not having one. Wow. Um, but um, excuse me. On the other hand, uh, the musical fidelity piece, um, you know, did have its strong points. And you know, really, given the age of the piece and mm -hmm. given you know what they can be had for now. Oh yeah. That's impressive. You know, it, it was very. It's a very inexpensive piece. I mean, if we're just being honest about it, um, but the but the sound, the level of performance you're getting, like uh, I, I have very limited experience with the uh, the shit Modi, um, you know, yeah, ninety nine yeah. bucks, um, and 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 that guy, um, it does sound pretty good, um, but I I do strongly prefer uh, the musical oh, fidelity yeah, way, over, way, over the shit piece, way better um, uh, than uh, than the than the Modi. The, 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 this was, it really was downright impressive. I'll say that I had kind of low expectations for it, despite the Stereophile Class A recommendation. Uh, d just because of the original retail price and the age, I'm thinking, oh, you know, this is this is cheap. It's, it's it, yeah, There's no way this can be good. And, and uh, it, it really, 
man, my, my opinion did a full 180 on that. It, it's it, Especially for the money, it's truly exceptional. And you think about building like a budget stereo system you're, put, you're putting together and, uh, you know, for, for someone who's not opposed to getting something that's been lightly used, you can pick one of these up for 150 bucks um, and, and you have yourself a great digital interface to a, a, a stereo system now. Yeah, no, no. And then again, ease of use does also lead me to believe it's something that wouldn't uh, really get damaged um, in the future. Um, And then, uh, you know, in addition to that, you know, in reference to the Rotel piece, Hmm. um, you know, in my experience, and I've got a lot of it because this kind of was my the main thing running the show for my system for a while. um, And uh, it's a bit more resolving, I'll say, uh, than than maybe the musical fidelity, not so much than the project. Um, and a good bass response, overall good sounding piece. Uh, mm. I can, um, it's an AK, uh, AKM, AKM. Uh, chip set, I believe. Yep. Um, solid. But I would say both of them, uh, the musical fidelity and the project, uh, are, are a little bit more musical, a little bit more fun. Um, I, I, I do kind of prefer the, the, the two of them. Um, but again, not an apples to apples comparison. No, the Just Rotel a, being made yeah. for home cinema, sure. uh, you know, that multi channel decoding there. Um, whereas uh, the project and the musical fidelity are really designed to have um, it really just stereo playback in mind. That's the that's the big thing there. Yeah, no, and and, and obviously the, the Rotel being again formidable, um, but uh, I I really only wanted to include it because it's it is a DAC that I, I I'm really intimate with and I had mm. it on hand so why Absolutely. not uh, g- you know g- give ourselves an extra point of reference um, but you know I obviously again we, we have talked about the project before we're probably going to talk about it again it's it's a it does offer an exceptional value very um, impressive but uh, but the musical fidelity if you can get your hands on one if you can find one in, in pretty good condition um, it, it is hard to say no to definitely don't regret the purchase and frankly no. at, at the price that you know I got it for probably something I'm just going to hold on to forever. Um, I can't imagine a situation where I, I won't, uh, you know, be able to just grab this little guy and uh, throw it onto a, a budget-oriented system or a second-room system uh, or, you know, theoretically maybe even give it to someone in the future. I don't know. Maybe I'll be lush with Dax one day and I'll be able to <laughs> just hand them out. Um, but <laughs> relative to what I paid for it, I couldn't possibly be upset with the performance. No. Uh, it's extremely musical. Uh, it's fast. It's got awesome bass response. Um, d- does it fall short? relative to modern equivalents uh yeah yeah a little bit and that's a good example of one sure um, sure it won't play back all the file formats you'll have to have whatever uh, uh playback software that you're using kind of downscale uh as some uh, let's say if you have dsd files or mqa files yeah. for that matter um but you know at the at the end of the day like you're saying it's just a tremendous value and and it really is the definition of of just fine you know it, 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 it does everything to a reasonable level of performance and for the money it's a, it's a really great value um, and, and it just works out really well there, there aren't a lot of points where we could really like complain a lot about you know absolutely learn, uh, earns a recommendation um, you know uh, absolutely is just fine I, I'd call it better than fine um, I think you'd be hard pressed to find a, a better dollar for dollar uh, solution than than this one absolutely um, but if you do if you know of one hey, let me know <laughs> yeah. I, I can always use another deck no, i really couldn't but yeah. i'll well, probably buy it anyway if you yeah. tell me <laughs> we're open to suggestions <laughs> that's for sure uh, you know let us know in the comment section below um we should post a link to the three of these yeah 100 uh, percent. yeah um, I, I could post to the, the product pages or some places perhaps where they're for sale um but if you're enjoying what you do if you're a fan of of the finer things whether it's hi-fi or i don't know uh chocolate or whiskey or nice venues like the Ashton Cigar Bar where we just spent some time. Oh, gosh, what a fun Um, time that was. Yeah, if you're a fan, if if you uh, fancy yourself a, uh, I don't know, uh, fan of the finer things... (laughs) Uh, If you truly enjoy the finer things, that's that's really... You you, you want to... Watch more uh, videos uh, that that we we cover more things that are either just fine or or the finer things or the finest things. Uh, hit the subscribe button and tap the bell, uh, the real subscribe button, uh, to uh, get notifications of the new videos that uh, that we post in. Um, we're looking to uh, have a new video out every week, uh, so that uh, should be pretty good there. Yeah, but also in the description, check out our social media platforms. Uh, we've got Instagram. Uh, you know, we're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Um, 
we're posting some different stuff there, some, uh, you know, Facebook, um, some more just maybe just just hanging out or beside, behind the scenes yep. uh, type stuff. Um, Instagram is, is mostly just some awesome glamour shots of fine stuff. Um, oh, yeah. And, uh, uh, you know, Twitter, uh, you can just try to keep you updated on there. Um, but like I said, if, if you are a fan of what we're doing, uh, you know, support us every way you can. Um, you know, give us a like, leave a comment, let us know what we're doing right, let us know what, what we're doing wrong, uh, give us some suggestions on what we might do in the future. Um, we're, we're absolutely open to it. But uh, that being said, uh, this has been just fine, and uh, truly, thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Have a great night.